Hello, P4. Welcome back to IP English Time. I am your teacher, Teacher Lisa, and today we will do some reading. I hope you are ready for lesson number 19. Let's get started. Okay, P4, so before we start our reading, we will have a look at some vocabulary. Do you remember the words from our previous lesson? Let's have a look. We have A and B. We have two pictures. Now, can you tell me which one is sunny? Is it A or is it B? A. Picture A is sunny. You see the sun and it's hot and the flowers are there. Time for our next pictures. We have two pictures, A and B. Which one is bad? Bad. Picture A is a bat. Our next picture. We have two pictures, picture A and B. Which one is shout? Shout. Picture A is shout. When you scream and shout. Our next pictures, A and B. Which one is leaves? In picture B, you see leaves. Four leaves. Our next pictures, A and B. Which one is sleepy? Sleepy. Picture B. This lady is tired. She is sleepy. Okay, P4, well done. It's time to do some reading. I hope you are ready. I want you to get your class book. Page number 12. Your family and friends. Class book, page number 12. We will do some questions about the story, The Lazy Bear. So if you have your class book ready, we will read section four. Section four. We have six sentences. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to read and then we have to order them in the correct order. Which one is first in the story? So let's read number one. The animals play in the forest. Number two, Bruno is alone in the garden. Three, it's warm and sunny. Number four, the animals are all sleeping. Number five, Bruno wants his breakfast. He's hungry. And number six, it's autumn. The animals are sleepy. Okay, so the first one is a present. We will read the story together. And if we see anything, any of these sentences, 
we will underline these sentences. So when we finish reading, we can order them from number one to six. The first one is, it's warm and sunny. It is the second sentence, it's warm and sunny. Okay, I think you got it, let's read. We will read the story together, the lazy bear. But get your pencil and eraser ready too. So we can underline the sentences. If we see something that is important, we can underline with a pencil. Okay, before, if you are ready, your class book, page number 12, and a pencil and eraser, we can get started. Let's read. The Lazy Bear. It's spring in the forest. It's warm and sunny. If you remember, this was the first sentence we had to order. So underline this sentence, please. Okay, it's warm and sunny and all the animals are awake. But Bruno the bear is still asleep. Bruno is very lazy. Now it's summer. It's hot and there are lots of flowers. The animals are happy because they love summer. But where's Bruno? Bruno is still asleep. What a lazy bear. In the autumn, the leaves are red, yellow, and orange. Hmm. Do you remember section four said something about autumn? Autumn. In the autumn, the leaves are red, yellow, and orange. The animals are sleepy. They are ready for winter. I remember something about animals that were sleeping too. So let's underline. They are ready for winter. But where is Bruno? Bruno is still asleep. He doesn't know that it's autumn. Now it's winter and the animals are all asleep in their warm homes. The animals are all asleep. That was one of the sentences in section four. But where is Bruno? Bruno is awake. He's in his garden. What a nice long sleep, he said. I remember something about the garden in section four too. So I've underlined it. Oh no, it's winter. I'm all alone. Bruno is alone in the garden. That was sentence number two. So underlined all alone. Bruno isn't happy. He goes back to bed. Now it's spring again. The animals play in the forest. They are very happy. Hmm. The animals play in the forest. That was one sentence too in section four. They are very happy. The world is warm and sunny again. But where is Bruno? Bruno, the animals shout. Bruno is awake again. He is happy now. He's hungry too. He wants his breakfast. Hmm. He's hungry too. He wants his breakfast. 
that was one of the sentences too in section four. So now we've underlined all these parts of the story. So in section four, we can order them from one to six in the correct order. So page 12, section four. Our first sentence that we underlined is it's warm and sunny. So that is number one. Then I remember we underlined in the autumn, the animals are sleepy. It's autumn, the animals are sleepy. That is number two. Then if you look in the story, we underlined the animals are all asleep. That is number three. The animals are all sleeping. Next, Bruno is in the garden and he's all alone. Bruno is alone in the garden. Number four. The next, next thing that we underline is the animals play in the forest. That is our next sentence, number five. And the last thing we underlined is he is hungry, he wants his breakfast. Number six. Okay, P4, well done. We finished section four on page 12. Now, I want you to get your workbook, page 12, section two. Workbook, page 12, section two. Page 12, section two. We will do some more reading for your homework. I want you to look at the pictures, picture A and B. You have to read the sentences and then think, is that picture A or B? Let's have a look at number one. Bruno the bear isn't awake. Isn't is is not. He is not awake. So he's sleeping. Is that picture A or B? Number one is picture B. Then you write the letter B. Choose A or B. The bear isn't awake, is B. Okay, P4, so we've done 19 lessons now. And we've put all your homework for every lesson in this table. I want you to check if you finished all your homework from lesson one to lesson 19. Make sure you have all your homework in order for when you get back to school, your teachers can check it and everything will be in order. Okay, P4. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for joining. You did great. And look out for our next video. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. สวัสดีค่ะเด็กๆวันนี้ทีเชอร์ซินนะคะมีเรื่องมาชี้แจงค่ะเด็กๆคนใดที่ยังไม่มีหนังสือเวิร์กบุ๊กกับคลาสบุ๊กสามารถทําการบ้านของทีเชอร์ลิซ่าเนี่ยลงในเล่มสมุดของโรงเรียนได้เลยแล้วก็นํามาให้ทีเชอร์ตรวจในวันที่โรงเรียนเปิดนะคะขอบคุณค่ะ